Hi, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I'm going to do a very quick tour of our homeschool room. It's uh, two shelves. Um, we don't take up a whole room anymore, and I'll kind of talk through that as we go. So we've got two of these carts that have three doors each. Um, they are on wheels, but we're on carpet, so they don't move great, but whatever. Um, got a dry erase board up here. Got a laptop up here. And then this has our school supplies with our pencils, our um, dry erase markers, and colored pencils. And then this has like, this like the teacher supply drawer. This has my pens and my paper clips and my sticky notes. It's also where I hide the glue so that the glue doesn't go everywhere. Top drawer here, this is our morning work flashcards that we keep in here. Also have some extra pencils that haven't been sharpened. Um, and this is where we keep the brain game. Next drawer down, this is where we keep the binders. So we have the student binder, which is where my learner is taking their notes. We have the teacher binder, which has the digital curriculum stuff that we've printed out. And then we have the, I'm taking notes and I need to remember what I'm doing. Um, so sticky notes for me, calendar, sort of lesson plan. Um, I'll talk in another video about my lesson planning. But that is our binder drawer. This bottom drawer here has uh, the notebooks that we're using for morning work and where we write things down. Also has a clipboard for when we're um, taking notes. Um, and then we have some letter writing things. We were doing pen pals last year. Um, nobody's written us in a while, so we'll see if we're still doing pen pals. But for right now, all of the pen pal writing stuff is down there. If we turn over to this one, this bottom drawer is science. Um, now, dad does science on the weekend. So um, we do, we're using the Blossom and Root curriculum, and they have science divided between physics and engineering. So you do a physics lesson, and then you do an engineering lesson. So during the week, we do the physics lesson. So this has all of our books. And then on the weekend, dad does the engineering lesson. Um, and we're just keeping all the science in one drawer so that dad only has to worry about one drawer to find everything that he needs for his lessons. The next drawer up, this is our history. So um, this has a collection of books right now, some that we're about to get to, um, some that we're starting. Uh, the way that a lot of these are working is that you read a couple of chapters from one and then you jump over to another one because we are reading from different sources and not just taking one. A source so we jump around through a few books so mo many of these have like <laughs> bookmarks in them but this is all of our history stuff so that I can grab whatever we need now this top drawer looks kind of empty which is awesome um, except that then I feel like maybe I'm missing something but I don't think I'm missing anything yet so currently what we have up here we have the book that we're going to use for language arts we're just starting this new one we have a, um, a book that we're reading more as a storytelling, but that goes along with the history, but I decided to keep it up there since it's more of a story. Got extra bookmarks. And then we do the highlights top secret. And so I just have the extra stuff there. I keep the top secret folders in another bin before we use them. Um, but I keep those uh, little knickknacks there uh, so that we have them handy because those are always hard to find in my storage cabinet. So there you go. This is where we're keeping all of our homeschool stuff. I'm only putting things here when we need them on a regular basis. And our binders, I'll show you in another video about binders, but I'm only printing out the stuff that we need. Um, 
We're going about six weeks out at a time. That gives us the chance to adjust. And it means that I don't have to print a whole lot. And then maybe we change it and we don't use it. We're just going through a little bit at a time. We've got our morning work here. And then bottom drawers kind of miscellaneous stuff that I might pull from. And that's it. So we try and keep it short and simple. Um, our room, we're not in like, we're in a room, but we're not using a table this year. Um, my kid has a small desk in their room. So when they want to write at the table, we just take whatever we're using and we go and sit in their room. Otherwise, we both like to sprawl out on the floor when we're reading or when we're doing things. So we'll sit in here, um, we'll pull in the bean bag or we'll lay on the floor and we'll work in here. And if we need a desk, we'll go to a desk, but we don't need it a whole lot. So this is our super minimal homeschool organization. Let me know how you are organizing your things. And um, if anybody else has a, a super minimal drawer system that they're using, I'd love to see pictures. Thank you so much.